Hey, welcome to the video. My name is Jessica. I am all about making lifestyle videos that motivate and inspire you to style your best life. Today, we are going to be tackling my horrendous freezer and pantry. It's been a long time coming. We're gonna declutter. We're gonna discover some things about ourselves along the way. And we're also gonna cook a turkey, because why the heck not? <laughs> so if you enjoy that kind of content, make sure to subscribe because I upload weekly. And let's get into the video. I'm sure it will pop right up. What we're doing today is going through our food pantry in our kitchen because it is an absolute mess. We have a very small pantry and you have to make the most of that space or else it's going to get chaotic really quickly. So what it's going to enable me to do is sort of take inventory of what we have. That can help me make a little bit more conscious decisions about what I want to meal plan. So we're gonna go through the pantry today, we're gonna to go through the freezer, take inventory of what we do have, and then meal plan accordingly, and try to make some choices that are a mix of healthy, and going to help me get towards my goals, and affordable. I went way off the rails. I'm gonna do my version plan now. The decluttering series continues. Okay, it is time to get ready for the day, so I'm going to take a shower because this needs to change. So, here we go. That's better. We're just about ready to get started. Every year, Michael gets a turkey from his work for Thanksgiving, and I have been thawing said turkey in the fridge for the past several days. I've only cooked one turkey in my life. I'm going to call the one with all of the knowledge on how to perfectly cook a turkey and that is my father so we're gonna call him let's hope he answers Jessica 
Wow. Hi, Daddy. What's up? I have a question for you. So I'm finally getting around to cooking the turkey that Michael's work oh. gave him. And I'm trying to remember how, because it's been a while since I've made one. You cook, you cook an old turkey? Yeah. So we can have turkey tomorrow night. Well, yeah, we could. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do butter, but I can't remember how it's much. All, it's all thawed out, right? Yeah, I've been thawing it in the fridge for several days. I'll take the whole stick of butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And pour the turkey on it after it's salt and pepper. And then what temperature do you do and how long? 375. Is my dad not the most precious? I love him so much. I have to cook this turkey and I'm mad. I thought for sure. Okay, this is this is bad. Uh, I thought for sure I had oven bags for this turkey. But apparently all I have is slow cooker liners. I don't know. I think I might try and see if I can cover it with a slow cooker liner. It's basically the same size. It's just that it's cut here instead of here. Get a stick of butter going in. And while that's melting, I'm going to actually open up the package that the turkey's in, try and drain it, get it all ready. Roaster pan. Ugh. Crack open this bad boy. Not a huge fan of working with raw meat, but I'm a huge fan of the result. Ugh. Please don't fall, I will cry a thousand tears. Butter's nearly melted. I am crushing this so far. Chef Gordon Ramsay is quaking right now. <laughs> I feel like maybe I should put a couple onions in there. Like maybe it would enhance the flavor. Come on, get in there. Get in there. That's pretty good. Ooh, yeah. Do the beauty vlogger thing. Wow, it worked. That's why they do that. <laughs> oh, that's how much pepper I have left. That's not good, okay. I don't think I have any other pepper either. Wow, that's all I have. Oh my gosh. I suppose we could do some Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute. I don't know, we're gonna experiment. As you can see, this is not an instructional how-to video, but an experiment watch me attempt something video. I guess I'm just gonna kind of roll it over onto it. So this is on the bottom. There! <gasps> I'm a genius. Okay, we'll see if I'm actually a genius. We're gonna put this thing in. On my to-do list, we can check off turkey. Let's get started with the next thing, which is the freezer. So, the first thing I am going to do is basically just pull everything out of the freezer, and then we're gonna go through stuff and get rid of things that are expired. We have a deep freezer uh, in the basement. It's literally empty now, and the last thing that was in there was the turkey, so now that we've used that up, there's nothing in that freezer down there, and I wanna make use of it. So, as you can see, this is not a very large freezer, so I wanna make the best use of that space and then use the freezer in the basement for things that that fits with better. All right, here we go. This is what we've got here. Pretty gross. It's been a while since this thing has been cleaned. And then something, ugh, something melted in here. And I had stuff piled on so high that I couldn't even see that until I started tearing everything apart. So the first order of business is to get this freezer cleaned out. Truthfully, that only took a few minutes, and look at the difference. 
Oh my goodness. We got clean shelves. Now, truthfully, most of this stuff needs to just go in the garbage, not only because it's old, but because of what I've said about the freezer not always being completely closed. So this coconut flour, I had a lot of good intentions for. I'm never gonna use it, and it's been in there for a long time. A bag of chunk of ice. Uh, some strawberries that have been sitting in there for forever. Bananas that have been sitting in there for forever. More strawberries, more bananas. downstairs the ice can go downstairs because we don't use ice very often but it's good to have for like parties and stuff so we keep the ice downstairs the burger buns we could probably put downstairs the fruit can all stay up here because we don't have that much of it left and it's nice to have on hand for smoothies um, burgers and fries we keep up here yeah pretty much everything else can stay up here because we really don't have that much going back in um, just like little stuff like the bacon, the yeast, in the door here, the fries and burgers and nuggets. Stand them up right here. Burgers. Okay, so this little cold pack that I didn't know I had, so that's cool. We'll put that in the door too, that's nice to have handy. All the fruit, kind of lay it down on the bottom part. Oh my gosh, this is so much better. I'm gonna combine these two bags because this is a resealable one. And it's just pineapple and mango, which they like go together pretty well. There we go. A little pro tip for you there. Oh my gosh, okay, are you ready to see? Here's the door. So we've got some cold packs, yeast, bacon slices. Over here we've got like meal stuff. So there's fries, um, chicken nuggets, just like some side veggies, chicken broth, burger patties, and then all of our frozen fruit down here. Oh my gosh. Oh, this makes my soul so happy. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the two items downstairs to the downstairs freezer. Okay, people, this is the moment you've been waiting for. It's time to declutter and reorganize this pantry. It's gonna take some grit. It's gonna take some determination. It's definitely gonna take some coffee. But together, I believe in us. First of all, let's check. Organized freezer off the list. Let's also check Tidy Kitchen off the list because I did some dishes in between recording these clips. I've got some little baskets of various sizes that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I don't know exactly what different things I'm gonna use them for yet, but the plan is uh, to organize things into, organize like different types of stuff into bins. So I've got two of this size right here, two of this size right here, and then Two of this size right here but we're gonna put these off to the side for now because we are going to pull everything out of the pantry my dad built these awesome drawers for us and we can't even pull them out because there's so much junk My parents are going to see this video and be ashamed of me. But you know what? I'm letting you guys into my world 
so that we can fix this together. Oh gosh, it's so bad. from this side. Now we've got an empty pantry. Four shelves. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just take the vacuum and clean out the little shelves so that when I put stuff back in, it'll be nice and clean. know where to start but we're just gonna start since I'm shopping so much at Aldi now I really don't bring in a whole lot more a whole lot of uh, plastic bags anymore and I have this little it's Christmas but like when it's in my pantry who who would know it's like a plastic bag dispenser. I use them for like the litter box for the cat. And normally if I was still shopping at Meijer regularly, I would get rid of like at least half of these. But I'm going to keep them because I'm not getting, I'm not bringing plastic bags in the house very much anymore because I'm shopping at Aldi so much. If you've never seen this before, this is a cool little tip to kind of do like a self dispensing plastic bag thing. You um, kind of, fold it into a long strip like this, and then you leave it through the handles of the previous one, and then kind of fold it in half. And then you end up with this long chain of them, which you can then either just keep on your own, or for me, I'm gonna stuff it into this, and then it'll kind of just automatically dispense one after the other. So I'm gonna just do that with these plastic bags real quick. or possibly two depending on how much I have for canned goods. Okay, so here's my first thing of canned goods. I feel like I reach for cans pretty often so I'm gonna put them somewhere where they're easily accessible. And I think I'm gonna use one of these taller ones for individually packaged stuff. Sweet! Okay, so we've got ramen, we've got, we got ramen, we got oatmeal, we got energy gels. So I'm gonna call this my on-the-go basket. What now? I think we can do all the cereals and stuff, like it doesn't need to go 
in a basket necessarily. another basket of like jarred stuff Jesus, it is finished. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, so I'm still trying to figure out a couple things. I'll show you when we kind of do a little pantry tour. <sighs> I no longer have a small anxiety attack when I open my pantry. Okay, we've got, let me just scoot this just a little bit so I can reach in. Okay, we've got canned, jarred goods right here. And then we've got like crackers, pretzels, croutons, nuts, seeds, stuff like that. And then up here, we've got little barbecue skewer, skewers for, um, marshmallows and whatnot, tortilla chips, and then we've got more packaged stuff, things that haven't been opened yet, like dressings, um, parmesan cheese, peanut butter, stuff like that. And then over here is my like quick grab bucket with oatmeal, energy gels, ramen noodles. And then up top, we have mostly like breakfasty stuff, oats, granola, almonds, some crackers, and then all of the cereals back there. That is the whole shebang. Now the only thing I'm trying to figure out still, I'm gonna sit down, is this bottom shelf here. So like, I've got more packaged stuff right here. It almost fits sideways, but not quite. But even if I make it go sideways and it's like a little lopsided, there's not enough room for both of these baskets. I don't have any potatoes right now, so that's not a huge deal, but like once I get potatoes, I'm not gonna have room for both of these baskets. If you have any creative ideas of how we can fit everything, let me know. The only thing I can think of is like, if we built some kind of platform so that one basket could go here and then another level for the second basket, um, because there's definitely enough height at this bottom shelf to do that. But until then, like this is, oh my gosh, the world of a difference. And literally my whole storage solutions, <laughs> I paid $6 for everything because each of these baskets were one item from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and if you're wondering how the turkey tent turned out, uh, it's just about done. It smells amazing. Okay, so admittedly, it doesn't really look like much wrapped up in that bag. <laughs> but it smells fantastic. And that's the end of the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you stuck around to the end, leave a comment, let me know. 
um, maybe something that you're planning to declutter in your house next or what you would like to see me tackle next in this decluttering series. I'm thinking it's either going to be our linen closet or my office. So if you have any opinions either way, make sure to let me know. But I had so much fun recording this video for you guys and I feel so much better having my freezer and pantry be nice and organized now. It's just like a huge weight off of my shoulders. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and that's all. Bye. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's like a real chef show. Food is fuel. Are you gonna come see me now? Do you hear how hefty our cat is? <laughs> when he jumped on the floor, it was like, goo <laughs> goo. I probably should have recorded it from that angle. I'm still learning, okay? <laughs>